Hey guys, I'm going to take a couple minutes today to show you how to link up um, your Android device using Real Dash um, to be able to see gauges from your one gauge system. So this is one of two options that we use for apps for um, Android devices, Real Dash and Torque Pro. So this is going to go over the two different connection options and how to get uh, Real Dash set up and running on your um, on your phone or tablet for one gauge. So first thing I should say is that Real Dash by default is not enabled on your one gauge setup because it does take time um, to run that code and to send the messages. So if you do plan on using Real Dash, please just let us know so that we can turn that feature on for you when we build the unit. Um, if, if it is, if you already have the unit and you need Real Dash turned on, it's no problem to add that in the future. So the first thing we're gonna do um, to prep for our install or setup is of course you need to in install Real Dash using the Google Play Store. Um, so you can just go into the store, you, you can search for Real Dash, and it's going to bring up this app. There's no need to pay for the upgraded version. The free version works just fine. Now we're going to go back to the home screen, and we're going to open up um, Google Chrome or whatever browser you want to use, and you need to navigate to theonegage.com slash FAQs. It's the instructions portion of our website um, that contains a lot of the documentation for um, our setups and there's a file that you're going to need to get to get your real dash setup um, up and running and that's going to be if you touch the one gauge code code update and settings file link it's going to bring you to this folder full of files <coughs> now we've got a couple of options here. It's usually easier if you touch this button up here to the right, the three lines with the three dots, it will show you a better layout to be able to see these files. And what we need is the OG real dash file. We're going to use post May 2023. This is the newest configuration file. So we're just going to download that. So you can click on it. And then you can download it. Okay, so we're just going to download that file. I'm going to close out of this and open up Real Dash. Now I've already configured it to work, but I'm going to show you. Um, basically, when the app launches, it's going to bring up a setup menu. Um, if you skip that or if you need to navigate back to it, you can touch the top of the screen anytime the gauges are on, and it's going to bring up this menu right here, and you go to Garage. Okay, and you can open the door of your car by touching it and then touch the dashboard. So we're just going to remove this and I'm just going to add a new connection to show you exactly what we do. So there's two ways that we can go about connecting Real Dash. We can use Bluetooth, wireless, or you can use a wired connection. Now the wired connection is going to be a little bit faster, but of course the Bluetooth wireless is going to be a little bit more convenient. So either way, when, when we choose source, we're going to choose adapters can slash LIN. It's the first option here and go to the next screen. And then we're going to go down and select Real Dash Cam. Okay, and that's the same for both setups. Now, obviously, here you can choose are you going to use a Bluetooth or are you going to use a USB connection? So if you do the Bluetooth, it's going to take you uh, to this next screen where you're going to be able to see different Bluetooth devices that are available. So if you do not see one gauge or um, other, you know, your one gauge device here, what you're going to need to do is add that. You can bring down the menu of the, the main tablet by swiping down from the top and you can hold down on that Bluetooth button and it's going to bring up your Bluetooth connections and you just need to add your one gauge connection to your paired devices. The passcode is always 1234 in case it asks for a passcode or a pin. Okay, so if we have that set up, we're going to choose one gauge, we're going to go to the next screen, and then here we choose our CAN description file, which is going to be a custom CAN description file, and that's the file that we downloaded earlier. So I'm going to hit custom, and then import, and it's going to bring up the most recent files, and here's the one we just downloaded, this post May 2023. So we'll click on that. Now I've got a couple other ones in here that I um, downloaded some time ago. I'm just going to remove those. And then I'm going to select post May 2023. 
and select file. Okay, now if I wanted to test it, I could hit the CAN monitor. Now I, I have this unit set up to work on uh, a wired connection, so the Bluetooth um, is not going to give me any data. As you can see, it's just blank. So to set up the wired connection, I'm just going to go back. I'm going to choose serial USB here. And then it, it gives me a device that I can choose. It's the only one on the list, so I'm going to use that one. And then I choose this baud rate, which is 115200. And that's, uh, we can set this up at different rates, but this is going to be the default rate if you're using the wired connection. It's going to be extremely fast. Okay, so we can go here. The CAN description file is the same if you needed to, once again, if you needed to add it, you just click on that custom CAN description file. You navigate to your file through import, and then um, you select your file. Okay, now we can do CAN monitor. And as you can see, we've got a whole bunch of data coming through. It's updating really fast. It gives you an idea. Frames per second is 84, 85. So we're seeing, um, you know, we're seeing data come through every maybe f uh, 50 milliseconds or, or less. So um, it's very, very fast. So, uh, and, I, and that is something that we can speed up as well if needed. This is kind of a throttled back setup. Okay, so now we're done. We can close out of here. And I just have it set up where the gauges are incrementing just as kind of a demo mode. So um, this is one of the gauge options that's free. So if you do want to change your gauge layout, I'll show you the one. Sorry, let me show you that. So touch at the top of your screen and go to gallery over here on the left side. And then let's just load the default. So this is what Real Dash is going to look like when it first comes up, right? So you've got some different options. You can kind of touch different things. You can see some mapping. Um, it's scrolling through some different temperature readings. Um, you've got your coolant temperature, your boost pressure, and then there's another temperature down here, but I'm not sure which one that one is. You can touch. It gives you AFR voltage um, and some other things like that. It'll give you some warning lights up here so on and so forth. It'll also give you turn signals if you have those wired up to your um, to your setup. <coughs> okay, I'm going to touch on the top again and go to gallery. <coughs> Excuse me. It's trying to sell me that one. Now I have already paid for one of the premium ones, so you can scroll through some of these different premium designs that you can pay to download. There's also these free ones that you can scroll through and see. Um, the one that we had up earlier was this blue chrome dashboard. And the unlocked one is the one that I paid for. Okay, so I'm going to select use on that one. And it's going to bring up this, uh, I believe this is a newer Mustang style cluster. Once again, you can touch and kind of get some of the different features going. It'll show you, you know, like lap timers. Um, you can, you know, toggle your music and things like that if you have it hooked up to Spotify. And then it'll give you other um, gauge info. So you can customize all of these types of things. Um, Real Dash is a little bit trickier, more difficult to use and to customize, but customize, but it is possible. So if you do want to edit your dashboard, you can touch at the top and hit this edit button. There's a few things that are important. Um, so yeah, you can touch these different gauges and things. Now there's just a lot here, so you kind of have to be careful. Yep, see, I don't really want to move that stuff around that I just did. So I'm going to hit done, and I'm not going to save it because I don't want to screw that layout up. And I'm going to hit edit again. So one thing that you can do is if you need to add another page, say for buttons, uh, which I explain in another video, you can select this page, and then you can um, add a page to the right or to the left, and that will let you swipe right or left. So... If I do that and I hit done and I save it, let's just save, I'm going to save over one of the other files that's already here. And now I can swipe left and right. And so if I wanted to put some custom gauges or something or some buttons up on this blank screen, I could definitely do that. Um, but if I did want to just edit one of these gauges, so I've got the edit button now. I've selected, so there's, so the problem is a lot of these overlap each other, so sometimes it's easier to scroll through the different um, different options over here. And let's see, 
we want to look for speed I could search right here if I wanted to speed if we want to change the speedometer get rid of that okay so there's the speed kneel the speed value so let's say I wanted to change the speed value now I've selected it it shows it in this box right here I can go to input and values and I could change the data source to something else maybe I want to see a gear there instead so I choose transmission and I just choose gear okay and now it's going to show me different gear options so I don't have that um, scrolling through the different values that are available but um, that sh that that is enabled so um, if you have specific questions or are looking for some help getting this set up I'm happy to advise but hopefully this gives you a good idea of some of the basics on how to get your dash up and running and, uh, and get your real dash gauges synced up with your one gauge. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to email us, info at theonegauge.com. Thanks.